What an exciting 1600 meter run with the girls. Miles, wow, Claire Rethman from Fort Laramie coming in right there at the last minute. Now we're moving in here to the boys 1600 meter run and there's a lot of people who've been waiting for this. This includes your OH OHSAA Division Three record holder, Brady Yinks, who ran a 409.20 during the season. Here's who else we have. We got Ian Dieter from St. Paul in lane 1A, Joe Barker from Upper Sayota Valley in lane 1B, Jackson Durfee from Tenor in 2A, Garrett Hesselgesser from Cincinnati Christian in 2B, Colton Gasson from Fort Loramie in 3A, Alex Donaldson of 3B in Maplewood, Eden Antrim of Bluffton in 4A, Hayden Schmidt, your cross-country runner-up from Anna in 4B. Next to him, Brady Yinks, your record holder and cross-country champion from Perry in 5A. Dennison Murphy from Grandview Heights in 5B. Jackson Triplett from Tuscarora Central Catholic in 6A. Michael Kulcher from Open Door Christian in 6B. Michael Snoppick from Mount Gilead in 7A. Evan McPherson from Federal Hawk in 7B. Gabe Schilling from East Canton in 8A. Jacob Klaus from New Regal in 8B. Tommy O'Neill from Ashby and Crestview in 9B. And Minster's Alex Albers in 9B. And look who our leader is already. It's amazing the speed in which they take off knowing that they have three more laps in front of them. It doesn't matter. They are going to fly as soon as they start. So the last time Brady Yingst was here on this track at State Track, he was a freshman. He qualified in the 800, had had a pretty stellar freshman year, but it didn't go quite as well as he had hoped. Um, so he came out and clearly mentally knew what he needed to do. And he's been doing that all season. He's heading to Lisc Liscomb University in Tennessee. And we are at the one mile mark. And that's 101. 101 is where they are right now. Yeah, Yinks with a 409.20 it set the state record. It's kind of a day where you might be able to knock on the door of that again. This is an exciting moment. I mean, we've had a up here in Northwest Ohio, you've all heard us talk about Brady Yanks over and over and over again. The Perry senior who set his mind to this and has been accomplishing goal after goal, record after record after record um, to get to this point, the senior year. Now we're getting a breakaway. We've got our top three runners there, Brady in the lead. As they get to the corner, can you see who I, we got? I believe that's Jackson Triplett in uh, third place who had the second best time coming in. And then I'm going to try and get your second place here. Jackson Triplett with a 416. Brady came in with a 414. That's what he ran last week. Of course, these guys all know each other. They know exactly what they're up against. There is nothing surprising on who they are running. And Brady, look at Brady. He is going faster. 209 is what he just ran uh, on that on that 800. Tough to see, but I believe it was Denton Murphy in second place. If that's the case, that would be a pretty impressive um, impressive sprint for him with yeah. his with his time coming in, which is not not impossible. Will he have enough though? You know, sometimes when you try to keep up with the lead dog, you expend so much energy early. But look at Mr. Yinkst. Just setting a pace. I love his cool demeanor, Jen. Miles, he's like a machine. He's not just setting a pace. Yeah. He is he is setting the pace. The pace is Take right. Take a look at what he's doing as he gets ready to run his final lap. Folks, you are watching the the man who chose one day to go out to an invitational and run the fastest time ever in this OHSAA Division Three. And he is just stronger. He is just stronger. Look at him take off. He's sprinting now. Incredible. Incredible. He's like a machine. You look at his face. He is emotionless, just focused. The intensity on his face is second to none. So I'm going to make a comment right now because my daughter Abby's running the top cam. She's done this most of the season and she says it's really easy to, to, to do a Brady Yinks race because I just focus on him. He's always ahead. And we were talking to his mother earlier today. She's like, well, maybe not today. You know, today's going to be different. Okay, Abby, you're getting your wish again. It's all on Brady Yinks right now who's making his way around. Now we just got to see what his time is going to be as he sprints his way in and the crowd is standing up and they are cheering as the, the red haired kid, not a kid, young man in the red bandana is making his way in to be your state champion 
in 411. He points to heaven. He praises God, which he does every single time he runs. And he is your winner. Anna's Hayden Smith coming in fourth. And you've got Eden Antrim from Bluffton coming in fifth. Incredible. Wow. I loved watching that race. Uh, Brady Yanks bottled this moment. Keep it forever. This was a moment you'll remember the rest of your life. Perfection on the track, Brady Yanks. Brady Yanks, first place in a time of 4.10.74. Just misses his record, but makes the state meet record. So he's now your new state meet record holder with a time of 4.10.74. Fourth place goes to Hayden Schmidt of Anna. Fifth place goes to Eden Antrim of Bluffton. Sixth place goes to Alex Albers of Minster. Congratulations. Ninth place to Nora's Durfee. Congratulations to all of the runners. All right, we're going to take a break right now. We're going to move back to the sprints in just a moment. So make sure you stay with us. We got more super, super, super fast running right here on the track at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium at The Ohio State University. You're watching on WOSN.